I think first and foremost you don't ask for respect of people. I think you have to earn it, and I think that you know that's sometimes where people go wrong. You know that they demand respect without actually doing it. Uh, and as I say, that comes back to the basics, which is your training and, and you training with your teammates day in day out. So impress them on the training field, uh, train very hard, and on the pitch as well with your performances. And if you're doing that, then when you're telling someone to do something, or you order them about, or you ask ask for them to give a little bit more, they'll certainly give you that. But first and foremost, you know, you, you must be doing that yourself. I think on the training field as well, people always tend to look at you know the games itself. But I think the training field as well, you've got to be that player. And I think you know while I've been made captain over the years by by many managers, they've seen the way I train, and and, and that certainly rubs off. Uh, Frank Lampard's very much the same as well. You know when he trains, it rubs off on the players around him, gets people working hard. Um, so sometimes without saying many things as well, the way you train can can really rub off well on other players around you. I think. Uh, you know, you see people with different opinions, and I think it's important that other people, um, certainly the senior players, whether it be you know a Sunday league side, you know, express their feelings and thoughts. Because at the end of the day, you know, you're thinking of, of one thing, and that's that's to benefit the team. So if someone's got something positive to say, you know, as long as it's not negative and it's not digging people out, then then you know I'm okay with that. You know, strip it right back of maybe where it's gone wrong. You know, don't start pointing the finger and blaming people behind their back and. You know, if there's something to say, have it out and deal with it. You know, and if you can't be told, I mean, you've got to learn to deal with things as a man as well. Sometimes you're going to be told something that you don't want to hear. I think you have to take it on the chin and get on with it. Work very hard um, because once again, it goes back to that. You know, everyone's saying something. Um, you know, to try and improve the team. So, if if I need to be told by by Lamps or Didier or whoever it may be, you know, then then they rightly tell me, and that will certainly you know get me out the right way. I think if, if you're captain, I think it's about knowing your players as well. Um, and for me, there's certain players at, at Chelsea that I could I could certainly give a kick out the backside and get a good response. There's other players that you need to put your arm around and, and rub them up the you know the right way. If if you shout and holler at them in front of 40, 50,000, you know they they maybe go into a shell and you don't get anything out of them in the end. So I think it's important that on the on the training field again, which we go back to. It's about knowing them, knowing them well enough and, and having that relationship with them. You know, when you ask for a little bit more, you get it, uh, but just, just doing it in the right way. Uh, maybe just have a quiet word, whether it be a young lad who, who comes into the side, but that comes probably a day before the game as well. Maybe sit next to him on the bus and, you know, just help him through his time and, you know, the nerves of, of that, that, that first big game and big game nerves. But, as I said before, I'm a player who still gets nervous on, on every Chelsea game, every England game. I think that's important as well. You know, the day I don't get nervous for a game is the day I'm taking it for granted. Um, you know, but every single game, whether it be an FA Cup tie against a smaller side, you know, that, them nerves are always there, which, which is a good thing. It's about knowing your players and trusting and believing, believing in what the manager tells you, believing in you know, yourself as players. And never sort of lose that that confidence, really. And I think if you can if you can always show and believe, you know, you, you'll be okay. I think when you when you get your head down. I mean, we've played against sides in the past as well, who one player would maybe give the ball away three or four times, his head will go down, and or the right back will get a booking. And you know, you, you encourage people to then run at him and try and get him booked and sent off again. It's just little things like that can you know the oppos opposition definitely notice. Um, so always stay positive and always you know stay fully focused, really. It's, you know, at times, you know, we, we've been winning 4 or 5 nil. you know, you pop the ball about as well. But I think if, you know, you put yourself in the fans' position as well, if you're sitting there, you know, you want to see that fifth goal, that sixth goal. And I think we, we've certainly got that. And I think that just comes naturally about being the leader, knowing your teammates as well and saying, hey, don't, you know, don't, don't take the mick here. You know, we continue and, you know, them, them three or four goals that we could go on and get could prove vital once again at the end of the season. So always push till the last minute. Never just keep the ball and try and humiliate the other side. Always try and punish them even more by, by continuing to score goals and, and always looking forward, really.